What's up guys, this is Tampa Tech, and I'm gonna show you how to connect your TV to your Echo, or your Echo to your TV. Let's go ahead and get started. Now first I'm gonna show you how to connect your Echo to your home entertainment surround sound system. Only thing you need is this cable. It's a Y adapter. It's a RCA, two male RCA plugs on one end, and a 3.5 millimeter plug on the other end. I'll leave a link in the video description below where to get this cable but simply you could just plug it into the back of your Echo Dot and connect it to the back of your surround sound receiver. So you take your 3.5 millimeter plug and then you wanna plug it into the back of the Echo Dot right back here. Now this won't work for the original Amazon Echo because, uh, because it does not have that port. Only the Echo Dot has that port. If you're wondering what this base is, um, it's, it's a battery dock that makes my Echo Dot portable. If you're interested in this battery base for your Echo Dot, I'll leave that link in the video description below as well. Next, you wanna plug these RCA plugs into the TV input um, behind your receiver, or your amplifier in this case. And red goes to the red port, which is right, the right speaker. And then left would be the white one. And that goes into the white port, real easy. Make sure you select the correct input on your surround sound receiver. Alexa, play some Christmas music. The station holiday favorites from Amazon Music. But what if you want to connect your TV to your Amazon Echo? I'm going to show you how to do that now. So first thing you want to do is you want to go to settings. And then you want to go to Bluetooth devices and then select other Bluetooth devices and then add Bluetooth device. Alexa, search for Bluetooth device. Searching. All right, there you go. Echo Show, I'm gonna select that. All right, so now the stereo Bluetooth headset may impact your 2.4 Wi-Fi and audio performance. To remove the impact, connect the Fire TV stick to a five gigahertz wireless router, which it is. I'll hit okay. So it looks like it is working. Alexa, volume 10. How does he do that? They will come to rest out of, but you can. Me, Alexa. I cannot move against him. Pause. Because of beef. His boss, Deputy Commissioner Ruby Singh. Isn't that cool? And you can also connect the Fire TV stick to a headset, and that's what the, that is, that's the ring. The only thing you would have to do to connect to a headset is just select add Bluetooth device, and then turn on your headset and put it in pairing mode. Real easy. Alexa, turn off Bluetooth. Now disconnected from living room TV. All right, so now it's disconnected from your uh, Fire TV. Now let's go ahead and um, link the Amazon Echo Show to the Fire TV stick. So what you wanna do is you wanna download or update the Amazon Alexa app. And then we're gonna go ahead and hit the menu button on the upper left hand corner. All right, next we're gonna go ahead and select music, video, and books. Fire TV. And then select manage devices. So we're gonna link another Fire TV. Let's go ahead and do that. This is the living room TV. Continue. And we're gonna choose the Echo Show. You could choose any of these. The Echo Dot, Echo Show, or the Echo Tower. Let's choose the Echo Show. And then link device. All right, now it should be linked. Now, if this doesn't work, it may take me maybe like um, a couple seconds to sync. Now, once you link up the Echo to your Fire TV stick and you have the HDMI control feature turned on the Fire TV stick, you can actually use the Echo to turn on your TV, which is pretty cool. Let's try that. Now, to get this all working properly is you plug in the Fire TV stick into your HDMI port and then you plug in the power cable, which is the USB cable into the, um, the AC adapter, which is plugged into um, my surge protector. Do not plug the USB 
cable into the USB port in your TV because it won't um, this won't turn on your TV if the TV's turned off because if the TV's turned off and this is plugged into the TV the fire TV stick has no power then it can't communicate to the TV to turn it on that's why you need the USB cable connected to um, an AC outlet not into the TV USB port settings and then go down to display and then you want to have your HDMI uh, CEC turned on right here then on your TV you want to hit the TV button right here then you want to also hit the menu button search for CEC or HDMI control or any net uh, it's called many different things on TVs and let's go ahead and go to I believe it's under setup if I'm not mistaken no it's under input all right, so let's go ahead and go to AnyNet, which is the uh, CEC, it's the um, HDMI control feature, and hit enter, select. All right, now you want to go down, and we're going to connect. Um, we're going to hit setup, actually, setup. And that is turned on, so the HDMI control feature is turned on, the auto off is turned on, and we're going to search. For a connection and that's what we're doing and this may take a couple minutes I hit OK now that it recognized it and it's um, in the system now if the TV is turned off and you don't have a smart plug the echo can still turn on the TV using the fire TV stick Alexa play stranger things on Netflix getting stranger things from fire TV so I'll turn on the TV, switch the input to the Fire TV stick input, and start Netflix playing Stranger Things. That's super convenient. Well, should be playing. Alexa, play. There we go. And you can even pause, rewind, forward, pretty cool stuff, and switch to Hulu. Alexa, pause. Alexa, play Cartoon Network on Hulu TV. Tuning to Cartoon Network on Hulu. Alexa, pause. So there's a five second delay about, oh no, that one it worked a little bit faster that time. But that's not all. Here's another cool thing that you can do. Now that we have that feature turned on, you can even use the Fire TV stick to turn on the TV. Um, well, I have actually a universal TV remote in the back. This is on Amazon, but um, I'm not gonna use that because you don't really kind of need that. You, you can only, I use it because it, it controls the volume control. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and now um, turn on the TV just by pressing the home button on here. Ready? Press the home button and that set signal gets sent over to the Fire TV stick, and then the Fire TV stick um, communicates with the TV through the HDMI control feature. And it should turn on the TV. Boom, turns it on. All right, and there's another way to turn on the TV. Well, there's another way to control the Fire TV stick. So let's say, um, I don't know, this is missing, lost in the couch. And you have the TV remote. Well, did you know you can use the TV remote to control the Fire TV stick? So you could use the directional pad. So let's go ahead and do that. See? Isn't that cool? Uh, let me sit down. Let's go right. I, I got to aim it at the sensor. And then right. See? And then if you want to select, you hit enter. Just like that. Isn't that cool? So if you guys are interested in the Fire TV Stick, if you don't already have one, or the Amazon Echo, I highly suggest getting them. I'll leave links in the video description below. Those links help support the channel at no extra cost. If you guys are interested um, to learn more about electronics like this, go ahead and subscribe to Tampa Tech. Click on this link right here or down below the subscribe button. And if you know anyone this video will help, 
go ahead and click on the share button below and share this video to them, help someone out. And if you wanted to learn more about the Amazon Echo or Fire TV products, go ahead and click on this playlist right here. Thanks guys for watching.